as a conventional way of doing it. I mean, I, Michael Winner got me in. You know, he, I, I played him the, the what became the main theme of Wicked Lady, and and he really liked it. Uh, but he was always thinking of orchestral film scores. So we got this chap, Christopher Palmer, who was a, a very experienced arranger, composer himself, and he he sort of was, was he made. I think he made the stuff sound better than it was <laughs> in many cases. Um, I was working on The Fugitive at the same time as I did that, so the one or two bits in that, which are not me at all, that are Christopher Palmer, totally. Um, but the main theme, uh, which was uh, ended up being called Barbara or something, Barbara's theme, or maybe it's called the main theme, I can't remember what we did in the end, it was just... I'd written it on keyboards, and it was just you really had just a simple piece of music, and it, it sounded OK, it sounded nice, but when the orchestra played it, it sounded fantastic. Um, which is what led me later on to think I would want to work with an orchestra. But obviously that was a, although it wasn't a big budget, it was a reasonable budget. Whereas the other, particularly um, Lorcan and the Outlaws, was a kind of like, you know, that's a, that's a freebie really. And Quicksilver was very low budget too. So uh, both those I did at home rather than any other way. It was the only way we could actually, you know, could do it. So, you know, it lacks a little bit in production values, but it was, it was educational. Um, I can't say I enjoyed it very much, actually. I find it quite, quite stressful. I was doing, when I did Quicksilver, I had, um, I was doing uh, conference calls with six people. I hate telephones, anyhow. And uh, and they said, you have five guys saying, yeah, that sounds great, you know, all American. And then the, the director would say, no, I don't like that. And I had this sound that I thought was really good, and all the others said, yeah, that sounds really good, it's really exciting. And said, I think it sounds like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought... Bloody hell. And I'd use this very extensively throughout the soundtrack, so I had to get rid of this sound and things. It is there a bit. You can hear it on the gypsy track, it's there. And yeah, I suppose in one sense it does sound a bit like a fart, but it's also a really good sound. And I'd actually sampled it off the, um, off the, the video that they'd sent me of a, it was a, of a car speeding away. And I just, it was a good sound, but there you go. That's life. <laughs>